Hello guys, so today is our fifth tutorial with iDesign, so I will be modeling uh, this mask today. Uh, I will start just maybe by using some system families, like a wall, when I'm saying a system family, I do mean the walls, the floors, the roofs, maybe with this part I will be using them. So just to, in order just to use the wall and then load it the um, shape, let's say, and then maybe just using some masses or generic models in this part. So. I will go to Revit and I will open an architectural template. Start by changing the unit, of course. So I will be using a centimeter for this reason. And uh, I will maybe consider this one as eight and then this one as six, maybe. So it will be a rectangular shape. So I will go to reference plane just to put some reference plane to help me out while I'm drawing them. Click one of them just to change dimension click the second one maybe 650 maybe let me see i think it will be better so yeah i will consider this elevation which is in here i will consider it as the south elevation so it will be this one so i will just directly start by drawing maybe this part which is the left one so i will consider it as four and then two and then the last two i will go to a component I could make it as a model in place and I could make it even as a mass, normal mass. So let me just use the model in place for now. Click for generic models and then just to draw a symbol rectangle like this from here to here and then click and change it to 400. So for now it's yes and then I will change it maybe to 400. So it will be 4 meter. I will go again to levels just to change or to put some levels I will say finish and then double L for levels and maybe big and then 400 click it and I do see there is an another maybe 200 here so I will make another level for them or 150 I don't know it will be like up to you i will go to 3d just to see what i did and then i will just draw this part so it will be approximately 200 so i will put edit and then i will just say create but first i will just set it so i will set it back on plane and then pick okay if i couldn't pick this one I will go to level 2 and then directly I will start drawing it if I couldn't just pick it. So I will make it maybe 200 and then just select all of it MV for move from this corner to this one and then just say yes, go to south elevation, drag it up to this one, go to 3D. Now I can see this part, SD for shader. Okay, just maybe give it a material. In order just to see it as white one, Latin one, just okay, and then just copy and then paste. Control C, Control V. So it's okay for now. Let me just see. I did a draw this part. So we do have this part, maybe this part. We can use a wall, a normal wall. So I can see it's approximately until 500. Or maybe I will, we will make it a bit more, so I will consider maybe this one two, another two, another two, maybe. I, I will see. I will go to South Elevation, or but first let me just draw a wall. Let me just go to Finish, then WA for walls. Click and uh, make it under level 3. Click it. Let me just see. Okay, so it will be the same, the same line, I mean. So I will consider it, or I will put it Finish Phase, and then if it's into this side i will click a, a space and then if we do have this 400 let me just see if 400 so i'm drawing from this point so i think it would be enough and maybe we could make it as one let me see uh, i think it's enough for this one let me go to south elevation we do have this wall here so i will just create or just uh, edit the profile of it and then just to click or maybe 200 yes and here also trim and extend tr is the shortcut and then this one i can see i do have maybe just to move it a bit 
So maybe we could just MV and then just move it for one other. I think so. Remove constraint for now. And then say yeah. Go to 3D just to check it. I think so, yeah. It would be better, I mean. I would go again to my level 1 and then CS for yeah, similar. Just to close it like this. Okay, go to level or to the 3D. And then I can see there is something here, which is, I mean, the thickness of it. So I could even make a thickness for the wall since we are not dealing with the internal or like uh, the standards, say. So maybe I could make even a thickness for the wall. But for now, let me just see if I do it. If I did, I mean, change the thickness, maybe I would put it as 100 and say OK and, and apply and OK. So we do have the thickness now. I can go to my first of all trim for this one. I can trim or what? Let me see just if there is a problem or what. We drag it a bit there. Okay. Did the profile? It's okay, I think why? We are Okay, without the R, maybe we could make something. Control Z. Yes, no, it's okay. So, um, I will directly maybe draw the the wall, which is a storefront. We'll start maybe a storefront from. This point, outer one, okay, like this. Draw it like that and then go to 3D just to see it. And then just drag it down for now. Now we will go to level two and draw like a wall, another wall, which is from this point to this one. Go to 3D to see what we did. Yes, exactly. So I can see there is something even here, which will be this side. I could even make it as a wall and I could make it also as a generic model. So maybe the easiest one will be just to make it as a generic model. And then just go to my elevation. So let me just go to this elevation, which will be the west one. So we do have it here. Maybe let me just create a new component, generic one. If I want to make it as a wall, I could make it as a normal wall and then just edit the type of it. I mean, just to change the, the borders. So an extrusion and pick a plane and maybe make this one. Create a rectangle like this. I think so. Let me just see the picture, yes. But no, it looks like a rectangle, a normal one. So let me just go to... 100. Yes, exactly. Go to like maybe 5. It will be enough. Now I will change even the thickness of the mullions. Yes, exactly like this. And now I will just go to site plan and maybe let me just see the, the roof of it. So I will even put 200. So I will just go to create extrusion. Let me just set it, pick a plane, try to pick this surface, exactly that what I want from this corner and start drawing like that. Okay, 200. And then from this point, like this, TR, another 5. Okay, but we didn't close it. Okay, go to 3D. So we do have this shape here. So now I will just have to create something like this, which will be, I mean, the roof. And then I will also make it just a generic or a storefront, which will be the last one. So I can see something else, which is this one. I will just go and drag this element, go to side. Let me just see the dimension. 
So from here to here and make it as 150 mega. Control Z. Let me just drag it again. 170. I think it's okay, even. Now we will go to my Swiss elevation. And now, or let me just start with the south one. For this one, I can see that we do have the vertical and the horizontal one. But for me, maybe I could make something else, which will be just edit the type of it, go to maximum or fixed number, and then just say okay, and say okay again, and then just put it as maybe zero. Let me try. Okay, maybe for the horizontal one. It's a fixed distance. Let me just put it even as a fixed number. And OK and apply. So even put this one as one. Yep. And then just to drag it a bit. And now for the for the monion, I could I can see the thickness of these monions or these crates is less than this one. So I will just edit the type of it. I can see the sides. Let me just try. To make it as one by one, say OK, and now OK. Since we are only working with this project, so I don't have just to duplicate it. So I can see that it's good. Let me just try to enter this module. Maybe the thickness, maybe we could put it as 5. Say OK and say OK again. I think this one is better, yeah. Exactly, that's how, that's how I want it to be. So now for this one, which is the roof, I can just go to level 3 and then create a normal roof. Okay, or RF, get the shortcut, of course. Go with the slope and then just I draw the lines like that, pick the line PR and then the last one let me just see it in 3D yeah exactly we made it so let me just just see the picture yes exactly so we don't have to see that wall in order just to hide it now we will fix this problem i will first select all of them and unslope define undefine any the slope and then just say okay for now and then go to the edit type grade one and grade two fix number the same one I think this one, we just choose it for the other one, Ctrl-V and Ctrl-V and then the same process for the other and say OK for now go to one by one let me just see two I think so but let me just see how I will just manage it maybe I will just go with one by one it didn't work so I will have just to put it let me just unbend this one unbend that one and delete them sorry we did some things to it okay delete this one delete that one select this grid unbend it just Delete it, delete it, yes, delete element, come on. Let me just draw another grid, CS, or this one, I just put it here. And now I will select this grid, delete it, remove it, yes, and remove this side. Yes, we do have it. 
Okay, it's okay. I will leave just a bit like this. Exactly, that's how I want it to be. Let me just see if I could just try to click and select mullions on grid, unbend them. Okay, and then select this one. Let me just see exactly the exact borders with this wall. So I will go just to level 2. And then just move it a bit forward. Go to 3D. And then MV. I cannot even. Let me just go to site. Yes, exactly. I can see it now. MV from this one. Or mv from this one to this one go to 3d and then now we'll just select the mullion on grid and then unbend them and go with l mullions if it didn't work so let me just try with the quad one mm -hmm. this one it works we do have just to remove the other one for this one i will just go with edit profile and then just go to waist elevation select after 200 we do have just to select this one so pr and it will be okay i think go to 3d yes exactly it works for now, for the walls, let me just see that. Okay, we don't have just to make this wall. Delete it. It will solve the problem. Go to material. Just to give it the, the color that we want it to be. Sorry, we don't have. Okay, let me just use this one. Under C. Okay. Apply. Okay. Select. Edit. Control V. Exactly that. That's how I want it to be. We can even change uh, this mullion and make it as a L shape, but it's okay for now. Let me just go to level one. Just FL for floors. Just make it like this. And even the material I want it to be white one. Yes, apply. Okay. Go to 3D, say OK. Exactly. So it's good, I think. We do have the last thing, which is the railing. OK. There is a bit split. It's OK. I will just leave it. I will go to railing. For railing, actually, we cannot use the normal uh, command, which is, I mean, uh, the system one, because we do have this one. So I can see it's going up. So let me just go to my level 1 or level 2. If I could make it, I'm thinking about making a reference plane or just making a sweep as a 3D one. Let me just go to this one and then edit with a sweep, big bath, make this one, this one, and this one, and then trim, trim this one with that one. So we do have this sweep now. So let me just try to see. Okay, it's a normal profile. So let me just uh, draw it. Okay. If I did draw it on this one or not, I don't know how it will be or how it look like, but I will try just to make it. So for now, let me just draw it as normal one like this. Four by four. Let me just say okay and okay. I think it works. I think so. Let me just go to level 2 and then I draw some. Let me just create 4x4 four four and then move it from this point to this point and then copy it from here. Maybe put it after 150. Another CO for copy. 
160 and then just copy it from this corner to this one and then multiple one let me just make it as a copy first one move it M mv from here to here go to 3d say okay then just rise it up a bit i think it's good okay white one since we are dealing with white things no it's black okay i will change it finally i will just create a new material appearance one just give it a black color okay and then use the black color and the exact same material yes exactly that's how we want it to be finish the model and now we do have finished it actually click on gd and then smooth the line gd again just go with shadow maybe put the shadow let me just try to put the cast one no we don't need it maybe you can even improve light a bit darker yeah i think so now you can even put some just please go to side go to massing and side side component let me choose the smallest one maybe you could put it like that Yeah, I think so. It's good, I think. 